you guys check this out. I was hiking around and I found this beehive. I don't see anything crawling around it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do probably the stupidest thing you can do and poke it. empty. Wow. Nothing in it, thankfully. It's still pretty cool. Alright guys, so I'm currently on the hunt for some rabbits. I've seen a number of them running across the street and I just had one run up right over here. So I'm gonna see if I can jump on any of these things. Um, you can see rabbit poop all over the ground here. So. This old tin here. Let's lift it up and see if anything is underneath it. Nothing. Thought I'd look. Check it out. That was a cactus. You know what I'm wondering? I wonder if I could uh, do anything with uh, these cactus here. Like turn it into jelly or something. I don't know what I would do, but it makes you wonder if you can do anything with it. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take just a little bit of it and uh, we'll bring it back, see if we can uh, do anything with it and then hopefully we can get a rabbit today too. I'm just gonna take it right here at the base. Looks like the base is over here. Ouch! Ow! That one poked me really good. That hurt. There we go. It's coming. Oh! Man, that thing hurts. There we go. That's what I got. Some cactus. Take that back to the truck real quick and uh, see if we can't do something with it. Guys, I just spooked a rabbit over here. Okay, he's up here somewhere. Guys, there's a rabbit right in front of me. Check that out, you guys. Little pygmy rabbit. We'll cook him up tonight. Sweet. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay guys, 
Uh, I'm gonna wrap it up for the day. Um, all I ended up with was just the one rabbit here. Um, decent size, so it should make an okay meal. Uh, and then obviously I've got the uh, cactus. Uh, still have no idea what I'm gonna do with that thing, but uh, it's fun to experiment anyway. So yeah, let me go ahead and uh, get on out of here and we'll uh, cook up this rabbit. I'm thinking about throwing it in the crock pot. So I'm gonna run to the store and get a few supplies and uh, ingredients, I mean, and uh, cook up the old bunny, make some rabbit stew. All right guys, just got home. My daughter wants to see what I shot. Scary. So we're gonna, she wants to know if it's scary. What is it? Ew, what is it? Is it a rabbit? It's a baby rabbit. Oh, Dad, can I touch it? Yeah, he's dead though. Yeah, <laughs> Dad. <laughs> okay. Uh, I actually left the GoPro on the entire drive home without knowing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and charge the GoPro for uh, maybe a little bit and then I'll uh, come back out here and show you guys how to clean this up. All right guys, it's time to clean up Peter Rabbit here. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just make a little cut right here on the back, kind of like that. And I'm just gonna pull. All right, next I'm gonna, oh, we gotta get the rest of the skin off this part here. My kids are throwing a fit because I don't want them out here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the bottom part of the legs here. I might have to pop it at the joint, there we go. with this one there we go I should be able to get in between that bone okay next we got to clean out the inside and gut it so I'm just gonna cut right up the body there get all those guts out Make sure there's no white spots on the liver. So there's the liver. White spots mean they could have diseases. I don't see any white spots there, so that's good. All right. Now what I don't wanna do is cut the bladder. So I'm gonna cut just that little piece of skin there and then I'm gonna pull the guts downward so that if anything does break, it breaks going down. There we go. Okay, the rest of that I'll go ahead and clean up uh, with the hose and then uh, we'll show you what we got going on as far as crock pot and everything like that Okay All right guys the Rabbits cleaned up. So we've got the two legs here I've got the front shoulders here and then these two pieces are the back strap. I've got uh, Some onions carrots and potatoes in the crock pot and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the meat inside I'm gonna cook this on low for probably six hours, and then uh, hopefully it's ready by then, and we'll check it out and taste it. All right, you guys, this thing's ready. Check this out. Look at that. The onions and the potatoes and the carrots, the meat right there, oh yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and get this onto a plate and I'm gonna bring it over to the table and we'll try it out. That's it, folks. So I've got one of the legs, the back legs, I've got a front shoulder, and then I've got one of the back straps. So, kind of one of everything. Right. Okay, 
Uh, you know what, I'm gonna start with the back strap. Because it doesn't have any bone, I can just go straight into it. So that is it. This is Peter Rabbit, shot earlier this morning. Let's give it a try. It's a little dry. But, get some uh, broth on there. It's actually not too bad. You know what it honestly tastes just like regular roast beef. It's not bad. The fact that it's dry though, it's kind of making it a little weird. But otherwise it's great. The flavor is on par. And um, I was expecting it to taste a little gamey, but it's not gamey at all. I actually really like it. So, yeah. There you have it, folks. I appreciate you joining me on this one, and we'll see you on the next one.